So, it's the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. Well, I mean, the movies at least. And, well, I mean, I've already done a movie repaint back in 2018, and I thought, you know what? Let's do a bunch more. Most of these are from Jurassic Park 3, mainly because that was the movie that introduced me to the franchise. Let's start off these repaints with the only one from Jurassic Park being the goat. I don't know why I did the goat to represent the first film, but I did. Now, most of these guys were made from little china mold thingies. I didn't mold them, they were just like, from like, what, dollar stores or something? Yeah? I will only be measuring the full size ones, not these ones though. As you can see, I gave him his or her collar. I don't know the gender of the goat, and... I think it looks kinda nice. I just don't have a chain or that platter thing that it was on. Kicking off Jurassic Park 3 with the Carithosaur. I painted all the species that were introduced except for the Spinosaur because, I mean, Spino is like the most known dinosaur that was introduced in Jurassic Park 3. Next one would probably be Ankylosaur. Now this guy is a little bit crispy, but I'm not totally sure why. I never dropped him in a deep fryer. The only reason I did this was because I was mad at Mattel for not making a Carithosaur. And then it was announced that they were making a Hammond Collection Carithosaur. So, my rage was pointless. Now it's the Jurassic Park 3 Ankylosaurus. Now I know it may be a bit hard to see, but the Ankylosaurs that I use, because yes there is another one, I'm not sure about the other one, but at least this one has sharp teeth for some reason. I'm also not really sure if the color I chose for the underside is accurate. Other than that, I say it's a pretty good JP3 repaint. For the last minifigure, I did the Ceratosaur. I would go as so far as to say that this is probably the best JP30 repaint I did, at least for the films. One thing I couldn't change was the pose. Like most of the minifigures I used, this guy's in that outdated kangaroo stance. I mean, I probably could have used hot water to make him stand properly, but let's just be honest, I'm too lazy to do that. For our last repaint, we have the one you've probably all been waiting for. At least I hope you have. I didn't include it in my Life on Sauna episode 2 for no reason. The female JP3 Velociraptor. If I were to redo this figure, I would probably give it those iconic head crests that the JP3 Raptors are known for. I would also make the pupils a bit smaller. And tone down the red areas. I also painted her claws white and gave her some yellow ochre dry brushing, I guess is the best way to put this. As you can see, I was too scared to go too close to the teeth, so there's this weird green mark from the original figure. Speaking of the original figure, this girl is a 2003 or 2004 Velociraptor. I'm not really sure which one it is. No, she is around like, what, six, five and a half centimeters? Now, we would be done if I didn't make these. Let's start off with Biosyn's Barbasol can. It's about one and a half centimeters tall, and it doesn't actually say Barbasol on it. Now, this isn't the one that was crushed by Rexy in one of my TikToks. No, I made a replica of my mini Barbasol can. Because, why not, I guess? Let's start off our bases with the JP3 Raptor Nest. I'm not really sure if these eggs are the right shape, but, I mean, they look right to me. They're probably not the right, though. I'm also pretty sure that this isn't the full nest, but that was all that it could fit. The eggs I made are about two centimeters. Lastly, we have the Rex paddock. Now this thing is very delicate. And as you can see, it's broken off a bit and it is around nine centimeters tall. 
But what good is a Rex paddock without a Rex? Well, that will be shown in the next video. And before you say anything, Rexy is too big to fit there. So, yeah, that was it for part two of this series. Tune in next time where we look at my repaints of Jurassic Park toys.